so cute. Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. Oh, I'm driving, one sec. So, I'm in LA today, you guys, for a hair appointment. I'm getting my hair done right before the trip, you know, the pre-vacation hair appointment, the best. But I'm in LA, Ugh, the, the light turned green again. <laughs> Archie, we made it! We're here, I can vlog now. Like I was saying, I'm in LA for the day and it's kinda weird. I never come to LA, you guys, anymore. Like, it is rare that I come to LA. It's just far. Ever since I moved to Orange County two and a half years ago, it takes a lot for me to come to LA. One being my hair, two being like maybe like a really fun event. But it has to be like a really good event. It's kind of nice and I literally you guys I just ordered a Hailey Bieber Air One smoothie because that's the one thing we don't have in Orange County yet. I feel like they probably will get one one day soon. I just ordered a Hailey Bieber smoothie to be Uber Eats here so that I can try it finally because everyone's trying everyone's having it everyone has it on TikTok and on Instagram and I really want to try it so hopefully it'll be good I paid a, it's so expensive and to Uber Eats it was kind of dumb but I didn't have time to stop and also I brought Archie today to the hair salon this is his first time actually I was like can I bring my dog she was like please do we brought Archie and yeah we're just getting all our stuff done before the trip let's do it are you excited you guys, the smoothie arrived. There's an ugly sticker, we're gonna take it off. This, this is better. How cute! Let's try it. It's really good. It just tastes like a strawberry smoothie. It's good. But is it the best strawberry smoothie you've ever had? I feel like is it worth twenty dollars? No. <laughs> but maybe there's like really good. Apparently, there's good stuff Healthy. for your skin. Yeah. So it is actually really late in the day. Like I rarely start my videos at this time. It is five fifty, almost six p.m. And I'm just starting now. I'm having a very chill Saturday. Usually, I'm out and about doing things on a Saturday. But today, yo, what? The they are in a mood. We'll get to that in a second. But Usually Saturdays, I'm on about, you know, brunch, mimosas, <laughs> but my boyfriend's in Vegas for a charity event, so I went to Pilates, and I'm preparing for my trip still. I haven't started packing, so that's what I'm going to do in this vlog, and I'm going to show you guys so many packages at my front door that I ordered. Nothing sponsored, just stuff that I ordered for my vacation, just stuff that I ordered for Europe that I want to show you guys, so I'm going to do that and pack, but what I wanted to get to, if you follow me on Instagram, Leo, come here. Come tell your story of what you did. Also, I just like did hair rollers in my hair and my hair looks really good. I don't know. I think it looks really good. I really like the length that it's at right now. Just in time for Europe, but it looks so cute. Um, yeah, I did get my hair done a couple days ago. So I filmed a few clips in there. I tried the Hailey Bieber smoothie. It was really, really good. Strawberries and sweetness, but like not like too sweet and overpowered. Like fresh sweet. Anyway, it was really good. So yeah, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen the lizard. I do not like lizards or anything creepy crawly for that matter. You know, not my thing. I mean, I'm used to it because I literally grew up. I was just having this conversation the other day with someone. I grew up in a really, really old house in Canada and my dad still lives there to this day. My childhood home. I should like film there one day just for funsies. It's a really old house and it's on an orchard. Like our neighbors have acres and acres of orchards and chickens and all this shit. <laughs> but there's also a lot of mice. So I grew up with so many like mice and mouse traps constantly in the house and it was just like really not the vibe for me. <laughs> I'm used to it. I just don't like it. But I'm not I'm not used to lizards. That that is not a thing that we have in Canada really. So anyway, Louie <laughs> right there. The culprit brought me a present the other day. This was two days ago now. The lizard's still in my house. He is an indoor cat. I let him outside in my backyard because my backyard is completely fenced in and he really likes to just like go chill on the patio. Like he doesn't go past the grass. He just likes to look at the birds. <laughs> but this time was a little different. This time, I guess he caught a lizard. He's never, he's like seven years old. Never ha has caught, in, I thought it was a mouse at first because I saw a tail, that's all I saw. He caught a lizard. He brought it to me, which apparently means he loves you, like he loves me and he was bringing me a present, which that's kind of nice. 
so I can't be too mad. But it was like gross and I didn't know what to do and I didn't want him to drop it in the house. He came all the way from outside into my bedroom with it in his mouth. He didn't drop it yet. Like he was like just holding it in his mouth. Then I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck? I start filming. Then I get him out to the kitchen area. He drops it and it goes under the fridge. It just ran right under the, the wine fridge. After that, it didn't come out. I had to go. I was like doing stuff that day. So I had to go and I came home later and I didn't see it anywhere. And I've been sleeping in this house for two freaking days with a lizard in the house, not knowing where it is. Who knows? Maybe it like came into bed with me. I would never know. I would never know. It is a little gross. But anyway, I just didn't have the time to get it out. So now I found the lizard and I'm trying to just like let it leave, but it's not leaving. It's under my couch and I opened the front door. It's right next to it. Let me show you guys. And I'm thinking like it was halfway out and then my dog like scared it. So it went back under the couch, but it's just not coming back out. This is the situation. So this is my front door. This is where the lizard is. Let's try to see. Oh yeah, it's still under there. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it. So yeah, we're just waiting for it to leave. I mean, I don't wanna make it go like more under the couch, so I don't wanna touch it or anything. I'm just gonna let things happen. Hopefully he'll come out a little bit. If he comes out again, I'm just gonna like push it with a broom or something, or maybe like put it in like a box. I don't know, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting. While we're waiting, let's open some packages because I have many packages. I don't know, I don't wanna sit on the floor and open the boxes, so where should I do this unboxing? Okay, you guys, let's do this. I have random stuff like really random places Aritzia revolve random boutiques like farfetch and swimsuit brands and rat and boa and I don't even know let's just get into it starting with rat and boa this is a place let me just move these a little bit this is a place that I've actually never ordered from but they popped up they pop popped up on my Instagram and I just fell in love with all their stuff and I'm obsessed so I ordered one thing and it is a dress I just love dresses for vacation because it's just super easy you don't have to make an outfit really like and I saw this girl on their Instagram wearing this dress and it was just so pretty I love the color so this is it Basically, it's just like this really cool green with like these dots all over it. Long sleeve, really, really low cut. And then it ties in the middle there. I don't know, just really cute for vacation, I thought. Rat and bow, like they just have like the cutest dresses. So I'm excited for that. Okay, I feel like I should do revolve because I got a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna try anything on because it's just, it would be too long. <laughs> so let's get into Revolve. First thing from Revolve isn't really for the trip. I just have wanted one of these kind of dresses that look like Chanel vibes for a while. I just feel like they're so cute, so classy. Just it's giving Chanel with like the tweed. Sorry if it's loud. Obviously my doors are open for the lizard, but yeah. Just this white color, it's kind of heavy material. It's the brand NBD. Really cute for like winter. I don't know why I bought it. I just saw it and I thought it was cute. So that won't be coming with me, but still a good thing to have. Then I got these pants because I actually have the matching top to this and it's like a tube top situation. This is also the brand NBD. These are pants and I just wanted like the full set because as I said, I have the, the tube top already and really like the material. It's just like this cream color, really, really like comfy. Stretches a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's just like a chill outfit to wear together. It's easy because it's like a two piece set. Flared at the bottom, really, really cute. Okay, I have like multiple boxes from Revolve, so. This is gonna be interesting. Next I got, what did I get? Don't even remember, I think this is a dress. The brand is Song of Style and it's like a twisty. Anyway, it's just like a brown dress, easy to throw on, nice material. Just an easy kind of like high neck situation, but easy to throw on, we love. Ooh, I've been wanting this dress for a while. I always see it on Revolve, but it's just the brand Camila Coil. Coelho. I really love her stuff. Like I have so much from her brand. I'm literally obsessed, but I thought this was just, again, an easy little midi dress to have. These are always really good to throw on on vacation. You could dress it up or down. Ooh, this is one of her new dresses, same brand. 
Love this color. It's a maxi dress and it has some really cool cutouts. I just love bright dresses also for vacation. Like it has this cool detail at the front and then a cutout here and here. Two cutouts at the front and a slit and everything, but really cute like pop of highlighter pink. The lizard is not moving. Then I got this top. I've been really trying to just like buy basic tops. This is the brand House of Harlow. And it's just like a high neck top. And then it just ties in the back. So it kind of goes like this and ties in the back. A little simple color. I don't know. I need more basics, desperately. That's it for that box, but I know there's more revolve. Okay, then also from the brand House of Harlow, they have this two-piece set in like three different colors, cream, pink, I think, and then this blue color. This was the only color not sold out, so I had to get this one, but I'm really excited. The top is somewhere, I don't know where. Hopefully it's somewhere. That would be really sad, but I like the bottom little tassel and then just like a knit, Crochet, cute powder blue color. That's the skirt and then it comes with a top somewhere. I really hope it's somewhere. Then I just got another dress from NBD. They just have the best little basic dresses, little black dresses. Um, This one's black mini dress and then it kind of has like this top part. You know, it's like crisscrossy and I don't, you can't really tell right now, but I will have all, also I'll have everything linked down below. So it's super easy for you guys. You can kind of tell, like it's like strap and cute and just like a basic black dress but like it's strappy so it's a little different and you can like dress it up with a pop of color you need you need black dresses for sure on vacation then we have more revolve oh this is I tried this bikini on and it looks so good I just love the detail of it I feel like it's really good quality the brand is boa bab boba I don't know if I'm saying that right but they have a few different colors and it just like has so much cool detail like the rope strapping fits really well I'm a size small and these are the bottoms so I'm really into this brand lately Ooh, I got a pair of shoes from this brand I needed a pair of blue shoes to go with a bag that I recently got you know it's always good to match your bags and your shoes so I got this little pair I thought they were really cute. I love the little jewels. I don't really have many colorful shoes, so I thought I should do that, you know? Then I got this like blazer and short set. This is like really cute, really nice chocolatey brown color. Also by Camila Coelho. I have like every color in her blazers and I needed a chocolate. Oh, there's a button, didn't I? I needed the chocolate brown one and I've been trying to get every color. A blazer in every color because I just love blazers lately and I love that these have the matching shorts. Really, really cute and easy outfit. Okay, then I got another little two-piece set situation. So this is the brand Lovers and Friends. I just really liked this color. It's like a sage green. I feel like it looks good with my eyes. Yeah, I just feel like this is really, really cute for like London or like a city vibe. I love two-piece sets. They're just so easy but i've been loving like trousers and like flowy loose fitted pants really comfy cool girl vibe you know got those matching crop top really cute lovers and friends okay definitely don't think i got the matching top for this which is really sad okay next let's do aritzia because we love Aritzia. So I went to the store, like at the mall, and they didn't have my size and something, so I ordered it at the store too. So this is what I got in the store. Just got this little brown little bra top. It's not a top, but it's like a bralette because I don't have any bralettes. This is a brand Tallulah. I just feel like for under things, like you just need little basics like this, and I really think this feels like good quality so got that I love their little ribbed tops I got two of them they're just really good for layering I've been liking tube tops so I got a black little tube crop top and this like oatmeal color really cute to pair with anything like just basics like I said they ordered this for me because I didn't have it in the store first thing was a pair of white little shorts I love like Aritzia's like trouser pants the shorts like the pleated shorts they're just really nice and good quality so and they have a lot of good colors so i got the white ones i don't have a good pair and this is the brand babaton excited for those good for vacation and then i got this cool little dress i feel like easy to throw on again i like the print 
and then it's like a midi dress with a slit. Really cute for daytime with some sneakers or sandals. Walking around the town, I could see it. I like the colors in it too. They had another one with like different colors. Got that from Aritzia. Ooh, I randomly went to Victoria's Secret at the mall as well. And I just love their little like nightgown pajama things because that is my favorite thing to sleep in. Like silky or like really soft materials. I got three, but I already wore one. The other one I got was like white with blue flowers on it. So that'd be easy to find online, I'm sure. But these are the same exact little nightgowns, just different colored. And I really think they're super soft. Like, I don't know what this material is. It is not like just your regular schmegular. <laughs> like it's really, really soft. And the top is really pretty, cute and girly. We love, you know, I just needed some more sleeping things. Got that. And the same one in black, perfect for traveling. We got, I think bikinis. Ooh, yeah, I got one big bathing suit and this is the brand Reina Olga. I think that's how you say it. Okay, this is a little confusing, but so the bottoms are the blue part, obviously. I don't know if that's the butt or the front. <laughs> anyway, and then the top like crisscrosses, you know, and one boob is yellow and one boob is pink and it's just cute and color blocking and like you can match it with different things. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's like a one piece bathing suit and it's just pastel and cute. So this is the brand and it's from Farfetch, but they have a website too. Ooh, Love Shack Fancy. Let's open her. I am obsessed with Love Shack Fancy. Why is it so hard to open? Oh, their packaging's so cute. I just love their vibe and aesthetic. Wow, it comes with a hanger and everything. Are you serious? Okay. I just really wanted a cute little yellow dress. I feel like yellow is the vibe for Italy, like Amalfi Coast, the lemons. I could see it. I could see it. I just am obsessed with their stuff. Like this is so perfect. This could be daytime, nighttime. Love the material, silky. I love these little like silky slip dresses. Super easy, super, I like the ruffles. It's got like a low front. I love this yellow. It's like the buttery, like lemony yellow color. And it's just like the best yellow possible. So we got that. Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> this is a swimsuit company that actually sent these to me. It is this brand, La Mariposa. They're really cute. Let's see what they sent me. Love that it comes in this little bag. Ooh, I love these colors. Like those are just really cute together. <laughs> this is the first one. I really love this style bikini. I think this is really unique too because it has like the gold hardware, which I love. Oh my God. I love this. This brand, what the heck? They have butterfly as like the adjuster. Little butterflies. That is the cutest thing. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I've never tried their stuff before, so I'm super excited about this. But I also like the style of like these where it goes like that and you don't have to tie it. <gasps> this one has butterflies too. Oh my God, these are just so unique and like have so much detail to them. I'm obsessed with these so that's the front has like the little rings again and the back has like two strap or, like the strap too and then the little like ties have all the butterflies again so cute I think I got the exact same style in every color every color this was like my favorite style that they had but really really cute I just think they're so unique like they're not just your everyday triangle bikini we love the lizard I feel like it's slowly coming Forward. Okay, this was a new brand that I ordered from. I randomly saw them on TikTok, Billy J. I think they're Australian, I could be wrong. I have been seeing these dresses like all over. Just like the style, it kind of, it's kind of giving the Hailey Bieber, that red carpet she did with like the strapless white dress. But it's just like a silky strapless plain dress. The back has a little cutout right here. They have a white color. This is like their, it's called light gold, I think. Pretty, like it's like 70 something dollars. So like, not like a crazy amount. They have a lot of cute stuff. So I kind of wish I got this in more colors to be honest. Hopefully it fits, it looks really cute. I'm sure it'll look good, so love that. So I ordered from Forward, but I got two bathing suits. The brand is Hunza G. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a very popular brand. I've just never ordered or had anything from them. They are like everywhere. It's like the crinkle material. I think it's one size fits all, which is interesting. I think it's just 
the stretchy material material makes it that way but like i've seen hailey bieber and like other people wearing this brand like look how tiny it looks but it's super stretchy that looks like it's for a baby obviously it stretches a shit ton and apparently it's really flattering so I got the white little two-piece set. This is the one Hailey Bieber had. That's a copy of her. I feel like it'd be cute with like a linen button-up shirt, chill bucket hat vibes, you know? And then I really like pink. My camera died, but I'm almost done. Um, so yeah, then I just got the pink, same one, just in this highlighter pink color. Super cute as well. I think that's it. Okay, I need to figure out where the top to this is, and hopefully I can do that. But now I'm just gonna like start packing. I'm dreading it. Why do I always leave this to the last minute? I mean, it's not total last minute. I just don't wanna do it. There's so long, it's like a long trip, and it's just like so many outfits to plan. I'm gonna plan the outfits be beforehand, to the day, to the day to the lunch and to the dinner. That's what my goal is for this trip, is to have everything planned out so I don't have to think about it when I'm actually there because that's just like the worst thing ever to have to like put in the effort because it takes me so long to like plan an outfit. I'm not good at planning outfits. I usually just see something I like online and then I just copy it, but I don't know. We will see, but I'm gonna organize this, throw everything away, all the papers, and I will update you guys. All right, guys, it is the next day, and yes, I'm wearing the same thing. It's the next morning, I this is comfy. I don't wanna do laundry again. <laughs> I am now packing. My air conditioning is really loud because I have all the doors open out there in hopes the lizard leaves. I know it could just like get it out, but I'm just gonna wait for my boyfriend to help me. I'd rather not deal with that. I got a pack and I know it's not gonna like bite me or anything. It's just a lizard, but it's still creepy and crawly and not, I'm not a fan. So anywho, I'm actually starting to pack. So it's the next day and last night, I got all of my clothes that like the pieces that I thought I was gonna bring and I put it on the clothing rack and this morning I've been organizing everything. Let me show you. This is my clothing rack. I've organized it. First I just got the pieces that I knew I knew I wanted to bring. I started making outfits and organizing it into cities. So it starts with like London here, then Cannes, then like yacht, boat stuff, and like Saint Tropez and Monaco, Greece, Mykonos and Santorini, and then Italy at the end. So it kind of goes in order. And then like at the very edge here, I have some basic pieces, like just things like I might need along the way that aren't part of the outfits. I have all my bags right here. I have the shoes on the ground. Let me show you guys better. I have some shoes here that I know I want to bring. Some purses. Where I left off is bikinis. Like, I kind of made a few outfits with bikinis. Because, you know, you need, like, outfits with bikinis sometimes when you're going to, like, beach clubs or whatever. But anyway, so I'm kind of figuring out, like, what bikinis I, I want to bring and stuff right now. But I thought, let's just start packing. Then I've been packing my makeup in here. This organizer is from Amazon, and it is really really good i was actually just searching for a good makeup bag that's really big and fits everything like perfectly and has dividers and is somewhat cute this one is just a nude creamy color um but yeah it has a ton of room for everything this is everything i'm bringing you can kind of see hot girl makeup bag <laughs> and then i also just cleaned my makeup brushes so those go up here which is really nice because they get dirty and nice to have them like separated. Maybe I'll just put that one in here, but for the shorter ones, you could put them in here like that. So in the middle of packing all the makeup, I wanna do like, I have to find all my lip products. Are you guys like this? Like you just have so many lip products, but they're all in like different bags and purses. So I have to like find all my lip products in random places and then these are some new items I bought, so I need to find like another bag. I should have ordered that on Amazon. I'll probably just end up using like Ziploc refrigerator or freezer bags for like shampoo, face wash, like hairspray, big like chunky stuff. So I gotta put that away too. And then I have some Starbucks here. It's kind of getting in my way. I have in here are just like hair rollers. I've been liking, gotta pack all the hair stuff. This is the other bag. So I feel like this could be for like shoes. I don't know, or makeup stuff, toiletries, but I'll probably keep toiletries with me. Ugh, I don't know. Definitely clothes, like big stuff, purses. We're gonna see what we can fit in here first. I feel like it's just gonna be clothes in here because like, that's a lot. Archie's enjoying his stick. Are you happy? 
These are all my hair tools. My Dyson recently broke, so this is actually my boyfriend's. <laughs> my boyfriend has a Dyson air wrap because he likes the brush attachment, and so he got one so I could have it at his house too. But actually mine broke, so they're sending me a new one, but this is his. This is the best straightener ever. Um, then a curling wand and then a blow dryer because I feel like the Dyson blow dryer isn't as good as this blow dryer and hotel blow dryers aren't as good so oh I need a converter that reminds me I need to find one and then my little things you guys we are getting so close to finishing this it is hours later it is so long I ran into an issue I ran out of room you know I I thought I could fit it all in the big suitcase and the little roller carry-on but I was wrong I was completely wrong I needed another big suitcase so I grabbed the other one that I had in my garage and this is where we're at right now okay so we started over here as you can see the clothing rack is pretty much empty my process with this I really shoved a lot of things in this is all of my clothes i actually need a few more like pajamas and lounge stuff i'm not done but i started by city so it starts london's like up here then then it goes down here to the next city then it starts up here then it goes down here and then right around here we're like at mykonos <laughs> and then i start here and it goes santorini and, and then italy starts i have some hair rollers and actually i might put let's put the hair rollers in here this is all the hair stuff and like toiletry stuff that makes more sense plus i have more clothes coming so this could be a spot for that and more lounge stuff because i have like little aloe onesies and pajamas but i need more lounge clothes and chill clothes because i never pack enough of those types of clothes on vacation and then i'm like never comfortable this is the makeup that's basically all that's in here i can probably close this side and then in here is all you can see all the bikinis bathing suits in here underwear and socks in here i need to add more because i don't have enough underwear in here yet so that is suitcase number one suitcase number two is i i could do a smaller suitcase but the smaller one i had was too small so i need a medium sized one i'm gonna probably buy the matching one to that but so far i have like ziploc bags of like shampoo hair stuff hair products toothpaste body cream like lotion body products i have a lint roller i have my hair rollers i have empty laundry bags for dirty clothes i have all my hair tools i have random makeup makeup wipes I have tampons. I have nothing in here yet. In here I have all my shoes, so, and a little bit of accessories and a laptop. Um, so I have some runners, I have some heels, I have some heels in their dust bag because they're more expensive and I want to keep them nice. I have my sandals and stuff up here in dust bags for the most part. I have a few hats, a visor, headband. This is a box full of like jewelry. I have some sunglasses. And I just realized I lost a really nice pair of sunglasses recently and I'm really sad about that. But I'll probably put like, I don't know. I don't know what else I'll put in here. I wanted to put all my nice like purses in a duffel bag. That's what I usually do when I'm flying because, or just anything really expensive because obviously you want to take it as a carry on. We're actually flying private. My boyfriend, his best friend has a plane. So that's whose plane I'm always on if you guys are like confused about that. We're going, we're flying private there, which is really crazy and really exciting and really nice and very lucky. On the on the way home, we're flying commercial because my boyfriend has, or Sam, you guys know his name's Sam. I don't know why I always say my boyfriend, I'm sorry. But Sam has a meeting and so we have to fly home early. We're gonna fly home and so, that's why I want to make sure I have this duffel bag because I have all my purses in here. Most of them are in dust bags, but but yeah, just like a good duffel bag to carry. You know, if you have anything expensive, carry it on the plane. Then I also have this carry-on. I'm also going to have my really expensive bag so that I just unboxed. Go watch my unboxing if you haven't already. So I'm going to have that as a carry-on carry on the way home because I'm not going to like shove it in a bag. I'm literally just going to carry it. And then, then I'll have three and that's not allowed. So maybe I'll put this in my suitcase on the way home. But this is like my true carry-on with all like the stuff, all the goods. Let's do a what's in my carry-on bag. <laughs> all right, what's in my carry-on? I've never done one of these. This is my carry-on because this is also a beach bag. Two birds with one stone kind of thing. But I really like it, it has, it's like 
got two straps and whatever. Hi, Archie. I actually haven't finished filling this yet. I'm still in the process of packing. Hi, come here. My animals are very concerned like about the suitcase situation. I really don't want to leave Archie. You guys, I don't want to leave him. We actually like thought for a second about bringing him. <laughs> I don't I don't think that would have been very smart though like a three and a half week trip to Europe I don't know though some people are crazy and they literally bring their dogs to like the beach clubs But I think it would just be too stressful. I got to do my video. You're just gonna stand there while I do it That's okay. You can stand there. So My iPad isn't in here yet, but I will have an iPad so I can watch whatever shows on the airplane there since it's a really long flight Then I have this little thing filled with chargers I have to put my phone charger in here still but I have my laptop charger just all the chargers camera chat battery and charger Chargers. I have a camera strap in there too in case I want to use a strap. Just a little pouch full of chargers. I have this pouch full of skincare and anything, basically all my skincare, anything I'll need on the plane. We got birth control, we got toothpaste, we got face wash, we got a couple face sheet masks. We've got all my skincare, so moisturizer, I actually have a razor in here, I have my tanning drops, eye creams, serums. These are eye masks. These are the Peter Thomas Roth eye masks. They're really good. I like to do my skincare routine on the plane. Then I'm gonna need to get like some snacks because obviously we're gonna have like food on the plane, but I, I know I'm gonna want like some candy. So I'm gonna do like a little pouch full of like candy too. I just haven't gotten that far yet. I have a couple hair ties. I like to separate my hair ties in case like I lose stuff. Then I have in another little side pouch, some, you know, hand cream, oh, hand cream, lip sleeping mask, which is the best and a little lip product. I'll probably put some more lip products in here. I have my perfume. I have a hairbrush. Um, I don't really have anything else in here yet. So that's that. Oh, for my airplane outfit, I like to be comfy, obviously. So I'm going to wear this aloe sweat suit, just a sweater and sweatpants, really comfy and loose and light. I'll probably put like a little crop basic under it in case it gets too hot or a sports bra or something. And then, I don't know, I'm gonna have to wear this hat probably too because I don't want to ruin it. This is, I just got it. It's from Hermes and that like, it's like bougie and I don't want to ruin it obviously. And then I think I'll wear these because they're almost like slippers but they're shoes, but they're cute also and I'm gonna bring them anyway. So I feel like these are a good airplane shoe. So what am I missing? I don't know. I ordered a steamer. So hopefully that gets here tomorrow. I just ordered it like a few hours ago on Amazon and I really, my steamer just broke as I was packing. So I wanted a travel steamer anyway. Where's my phone? So I ordered a steamer. I also need to get safety pins at some point. I made like a list of things that I still need. Safety pin, tied to go. I need more underwear and like all this stuff is usually, like I need to go to my boyfriend's house because I have stuff there that I need to grab. Like my concealer is randomly there. My bronzer, my one white ruffle skirt that I wanted to bring is there just like random things and candy and snacks I wrote on here and I'm just gonna write whatever else comes to my mind then I have like a list of things that I want to buy when I'm there but that's just like for fun I feel like I'm missing something really obvious I mean I don't know maybe I'm good I think I'm good I actually have a lot of room in this suitcase so but yeah I mean that's that's basically it I think we're pretty much done packing. We leave tomorrow. It is Sunday today. We leave Monday. Tomorrow I have to get my nails done still because my nails are really grown out. I think I'm just gonna do the same color though because this is such a good neutral color to have for like a whole vacation and a trip for like three, four weeks. So it's Bare My Soul for, um, by OPI, if you guys are wondering. And then I have a Pilates class in the morning. We'll have one last workout before I go and then gonna stop by my boyfriend's house to make sure I have everything and then we go. Oh, and then I'll probably run all the errands like getting the snacks and the candy and the, all, the, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go eat now cause uh, I'm starving. I had Starbucks, I had and a bagel. All right, love you guys. Bye.